uh, just say a, a scenario where uh, uh, okay from what i understood so far mdg is a central system where new data is created existing data is uh, uh, changed or modified or in the eventual case it is uh, deleted and everything is controlled by one particular uh, uh, one particular system or a set of uh, privileged people who who can only make the changes so basically with this you can avoid uh, you are avoiding uh, you know uh, people going to mm01 or xd01 and you know making all the changes there you know it's uh, this is where uh, this is a more secure system where you are making all the changes number one so uh, having said that here you can basically uh, changing uh, creation changing and deletion uh, happens uh, being mo monitored by one set of uh, one system and one group of people so having uh, said that so let, let's come to this one here the from the source system uh, we get the particular data and that is staged meaning i guess that is the uh, way uh, way the information is and uh, from there uh, when you say standardized data what what actually happens there hello, hello? so far whatever you whatever so far whatever you explained that is absolutely correct that is one thing okay second thing is uh, standardized data uh, means like uh, uh, what exactly is standardized data you yeah. okay here uh, stage master data you are talking about or okay no staged master. i understood uh, I, what i understood mm. about stage this this is the raw data which has just come uh, uh, either uh, the, the data which is there to be either changed or whatever needs to be done comes and sits there i guess and then uh, no. that is the stage no. Over a minute. The stage means here. Uh, in basically, you are going to uh, correctly, but slightly difference because you don't have that information yet, uh, uh, which we are going to discuss. Obviously, okay. uh, so basically, the stage data means. Let's say when I uh, submit the information. Okay, okay, when I submit this information, like just now we created one vendor. So what happens, the, the moment we submit this data, the data will, uh, in this case, it, it directly activated. But what happens that we have a different steps, like uh, create, change, mark for, sorry, uh, not that, uh, like requester, verifier, approver, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so what happens that, let's say, yeah, see. So what happens, we have requester, verifier, and approver. So okay. requester submit, the data goes to the staging area. So we have a different staging area in the system. So we access them. I will talk about that. Uh, that is having a different topic for digital. Execute. You need to give the data model name, execute, and vendor general information. So this is the staging table, which is your physical table, basically, runtime table, okay? And the moment requester, the moment requester submit the data, the data go and stores, store into the staging area. So staging area is the area where it store the inactive records, okay? So what happened then, the change request move to the next level for verifier, let's say for approve or reject. So verifier approves, still the data is in staging area. Then finally approver, still the data is in staging area. So right now, if you can see one record which we have that is in the staging table, okay? 
This is the record. Okay. So this record is right now in the staging table, which is an inactive record. Now what happens once, let's say I have three different uh, steps in workflow, requester, verifier, and approver. So once all the levels are uh, completed, then the entire process gets activated and the data moves from staging to the active area. Active area is nothing but your, in short, if I say your database table. So active area is the area where the active records are stored. So in Mara table, LFA1 table, whatever the data we store, that will be using further in the process right so that those records we will be considered as an active record so then it will be replicated further etc etc now go back to the uh, ppt so here the stage master data means it is talking about the staging table or staging area from there when the data gets activated it moves to the active area and this active area data we can maintain again, we can change again. And if we change again, it will go back to the staging area. Then update, activate, and then it will be updated to the active area. And this cycle will go on. Okay, like today you create some master data, your material. Might be after six months that record will be changed again. So when it will be changed, again it will go to the staging table. And then after all the process, all the approvals, it will be activated and update to the active area. Okay, this is how it, it, it goes. Okay. Okay. In fact, our next, next discussion is more or less on that area. But today, how many people came? One minute, please. Because of this power cut, we lost the reason, see? I think earlier it was more people. Mm, I don't think so. It will be appropriate because the next topics are very, very important yeah. uh, regarding deployments, regarding deployments and the business framework, like single workflow, parallel workflow, where this particular item will come. This is part of single workflow. Then you have the parallel workflow. Okay. So let's stop here today. Okay. Okay. Because uh, this is the initial chapter, and if we don't understand the initial chapters, that will be a problem. Okay. Down the line. So let's go slowly. Uh, more or less, uh, at least we cover today the, whatever we had a discussion last week. And uh, there were some questions which has been answered. So next session, uh, we will have uh, continue to that. Uh, still we are in the introduction chapter and uh, this PPT will be uh, shared with uh, coordinator. You can, you, can, uh, you can have access for this. And uh, apart from that, all the documents so far which uh, the discussion has covered those documents will be available so you can also access them and uh, tomorrow i'm not going to take any further session uh, yes that is true that uh, weekly uh, as communicated earlier that we will have only one session so uh, obviously i will try to maintain a two hour session uh, but because of today uh, the disturbance we are unable to continue further uh, because there is no point if there is uh, no audience there is no point to continue otherwise you know next session they will again come back and they will have a similar question so i need to repeat them again so there is no point so basically every week we'll be having one uh, saturday class two hours or two to three hours something like that uh, based on basically my availability I always prefer Sunday, okay, but uh, uh, tomorrow I will have some uh, production movement. 
so because of that reason i decided to take on saturday but if everybody says no let's stick on saturday this is comp- uh, quite uh, you know better than sunday because sunday people can then uh, plan with their families okay fine absolutely okay because the situation is right now because of the corona thing we are having some free time so <laughs> my thing is to complete as much as possible yeah 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 but the thing is uh, uh, i also do have some other commitments yeah I so understand. weekdays weekdays are not possible okay and no then we have weekend yeah weekend uh, uh, one day i can because uh, now we are just doing the theoretical session but the moment we enter into the data model chapter we will have more te- technical uh, hands on so for that you know uh, i need to prepare those demo before i come to the session okay. and then i can do the demo during the session because it will take lot of time otherwise mm-hmm. then i will start execute that i will start explaining that and then we will have some counter question on that kind of 